Dene Yenisean is a proposed language family consisting of the Yenisean languages of Central Siberia and the Na Dene languages of northwestern North America. Reception among experts has been largely, though not universally, favorable, thus, Dene Yenisean has been called the first demonstration of a genealogical link between Old World and New World language families that meets the standards of traditional comparative historical linguistics. Early work Amateur and professional researchers in historical linguistics have long sought to link the various known language families around the world into macrofamilies. The putative relationship between Na Dene and Yenisean families was first proposed by Alfredo Trombetti in 1923. Much of the early evidence adduced has been typological, in particular, both families have a complex agglutinative prefixing verb structure, which differs from most of the other languages in Asia. More recently, a number of attempts have been made to link together various language families and language isolates with prefixing verb structures, including, in addition to Yenisean and Na Dene, the Northwest Caucasian Abkhaz -Adif, and Northeast Caucasian Dagestanian language families and the Sumerian and Barushovsky language isolates, grouped into a putative long-range Dene Caucasian family by supporters of a genetic linkage. The first peer-reviewed publication to propose the existence of a distinct Dene Yenisean family was written by the macrofamily supporter Merit Rulin, 1998, in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, United States. However, Edward Vida states without specifying which ones that 26 of the 34 sets of words offered by Rulin are coincidental look-alikes, whereas 8 of Rulin's word sets follow Vida. S. Rules of Sound Correspondences. Michael Fortescue independently suggested the possible existence of a Dene Yenisean family in his 1998 book Language Relations Across Bering Strait. See pages 213 to 215. He writes, I have attempted throughout to find a middle way between the cavalier optimism of lumpers and the pessimism of orthodox splitters on the matters of deep genetic relationship between the continents. Page 1. As alluded to by Fortescue's comment, scientific investigations of long-range language family relationships have been complicated by an ideological dispute between the so-called lumpers and splitters, with lumpers caricatured as bumbling amateurs willing to group together disparate, unrelated families based on chance resemblances and the splitters caricatured as rigid enforcers of orthodoxy willing to shout down. Researchers who disagree with their belief that long-range connections are impossible to establish. Vida's proposal At a symposium in Alaska in 2008, Edward Vida of Western Washington University summarized ten years of research, based on verbal morphology and reconstructions of the proto-languages, indicating that the Yenisean and Na Dene families might be related. The summation of Vida S. Research was published in June 2010 in the Dean Yenisean Connection in the Anthropological Papers of the University of Alaska. This 369 page volume, edited by James Carey and Ben Potter, contains papers from the February 26 29, 2008, Symposium plus several contributed papers. Accompanying Vida S. Lead paper are primary data on Nadine historical phonology by Jeff Lear, along with critiques by several linguistic specialists and articles on a range of topics archaeology, prehistory, ethnogeography, genetics, kinship, and folklore by experts in these fields. The evidence offered by Vida includes over 110 proposed cognate morphemes and about 10 homologous prefix and suffix positions of the verbs. Vida compared the existing reconstructions of proto yenisean and proto na Dene, augmented the reconstructions based on the apparent relationship between the two, and suggested sound changes linking the two into a putative proto dene yenisean language. He suggested that Yenisean tone differences originated in the presence or absence of glottalized consonants in the syllable coda, as still present in the na Dene languages. 
Vida and others also note that no compelling evidence has been found linking Haida with either Na Dene or Yenisean. Vida 2010B, 115, Carey and Potter 2010-4. As for the wider Dene Caucasian hypothesis, see above, while Vida did not find the kinds of morphological correspondences with these other families that he did with Yenisean and Na Dene, he did not rule out the possibility that such evidence exists, and urges that more work be done. Vida 2010B. In 2011 Vida published a short annotated bibliography on Dene Yenisean languages follow link below. On March 24, 2012, the Alaska Native Language Center hosted the Dene Yenisean workshop at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. There were nine papers, the first new papers on Dene Yenisean since the 2010 volume was published. As of July 2012, there are no plans to publish the papers, but video from the workshop is available. Vida's presentations at the 2012 workshop augmented his proposal with additional linguistic and non-linguistic evidence. He discussed a study he did with Johanna Nichols investigating the history of complex prefixing verb structures in various families possessing morphology of this sort. His conclusion was that, contrary to prevailing belief, such structures are often preserved intact with little change over several thousands of years, and as a result may actually be stronger evidence of a genetic connection than the lexical relationships that are traditionally sought. As a result, he agreed with the consensus belief that lexical evidence of a genetic relationship becomes virtually undetectable after about 8,000 to 10,000 years of linguistic separation, but suggested that certain sorts of complex morphology may remain stable beyond this time period. Further evidence for Dene Yenisean is in Vida's 2013A article. Vestigial possessive morphology in Na Dene and Yenisean. Vida presents Comparanda for an ancient Dean Yenisean possessive connector prefix, possibly asterisk, that appears in idiosyncratic ways in Dean, or Athabascan, Aic, Tlingit, and Yenisean nouns, postpositions, directionals, and demonstratives. Vida also suggests one new lexical cognate, PA directional asterisk nis d. Ahead. Out on open water. And Yenisean root asterisk s. Open space. In terms of the sections within Vita's 2010 paper, this 2013 article can be read as an addition to his section 2, which ends on p. 63. In a subsequent article, Vita 2013b, Vita discusses features in Ket that arose due to prolonged aerial contact with suffixal agglutinating languages. In his 2012 presentation Vida also addressed non-linguistic evidence, including analyses of Y-chromosome and mitochondrial DNA haplogroups, which are passed unchanged down the male and female lines, respectively, except for mutations. His most compelling DNA evidence is the Q1Y chromosomal haplogroup subclade, which he notes arose c. 15,000 years ago and is found in nearly all Native Americans and nearly all of the Yenisean Ket people 90%, but almost nowhere else in Eurasia except for the Selkuk people 65%, who have intermarried with the Ket people for centuries. Using this and other evidence, he proposes a proto-Dene Yenisean homeland located in eastern Siberia around the Amur and Alden rivers. These people would have been hunter-gatherers, as are the modern Yeniseans, but unlike nearly all other Siberian groups except for some Paleo-Siberian peoples located around the Pacific Rim of Far Eastern Siberia, who appear genetically unrelated to the Yeniseans. Eventually all descendants in Eurasia were eliminated by the spread of reindeer breeding pastoralist peoples e.g. the speakers of the so-called Altaic languages except for the modern Yeniseans, who were able to survive in swampy refuges far to the west along the Yenisei River because it is too mosquito-infested for reindeer to survive easily. Contrarily, the caribou, the North American reindeer population, were never domesticated, and thus the modern Na Dene people were not similarly threatened. Reception at the time of publication Vita's proposals had been favorably reviewed by several specialists of Na Dene and Yenisean languages, although at times with caution, including Michael Krauss, Jeff Lear, James Carey, and Heinrich Werner, as well as a number of other respected linguists, such as Bernard Comrie, Johanna Nichols, Victor Gola, Michael Fortescue, Eric Hamp, and Bill Poser, Carey and Potter 2010-12. One significant exception is the critical review of the volume of collected papers by Lyle Campbell and a response by Vida published in late 2011 that imply that the proposal is not settled at the present time. 
Other reviews and notices of the volume appeared in 2011 and 2012 by Karen Rice, Jared Diamond, and Michael Dunn. Sicoli and Holton 2014, applying Bayesian analysis to typological data from Dean and Yenisean languages constructed phylogenies that suggest that the Dean-Yenisean connection, more likely represents a radiation out of Beringia with a back migration into Central Asia than a migration from Central or Western Asia to North America. In 2015, linguist Paul Kaparsky endorsed Dene Yenisean, saying that the morphological parallelism and phonological similarities among corresponding affixes is most suggestive, but most compelling evidence for actual relationship comes from those sound correspondences which can be accounted for by independently motivated regular sound changes. Paleo Eskimo and Nadine A2017 study identifies Paleo Eskimo genetic ancestry in Athabascans, as well as in other Nadine speaking populations. The Paleo Eskimo peoples inhabited the Arctic region from Chukotka to Greenland c. 2500 BC. The authors argue that the Paleo Eskimos lived alongside Nadine ancestors for millennia. This provides evidence of a genetic connection between Siberian and Nadine populations mediated by Paleo Eskimos. Classification Dene Yenisean is generally classified as follows. Sicoli and Holton, 2014, using computational phylogenetic methods, Sicoli and Holton, 2014, suggest that Yenisean represents a back migration from Beringia back to Asia. Their classification is as follows, with Northern Athabascan found to be paraphyletic. Individual languages are listed in italics. Dene Yenisianhida Yenisian to Lingit, Aic South Pacific Coast Athabascan, California Athabascan, excluding South Pacific Coast Athabascan, Seal Upper Kuskokwim Atna Denaina West Alaska, Koyukon, Deg Zenig Holikachuk, Koyukon North Pacific Coast, Oregon, Alaska Canada 2, Gwichayan Dagrub North Slavey Carrier, Dane ZAA, Beaver, Plains Apache and Sarsi Southern Athabascan Alaska Canada 1, Tanana Upper Tanana Lower Tanana, Tanacross Northwestern Canada Han South Slavey, Koska Dean, Northern Touch 1, Southern Touch 1 Ket and Navajo word pairs below is a table of Ket and Navajo words. Notes, Navajo inalienable nouns are attached with the prefix a, which means, someone's. See also Settlement of the Americas Genetic History of Indigenous Peoples of the Americas Hashtag Haplogroup Q References Bibliography Primary Dene Yenisean Research Papers by Edward Vida Vida, Edward J. 2010A. A Siberian Link with Nadine Languages, The Dean Yenisean Connection, ed. by J. Carey and B. Potter, 33-99. Anthropological Papers of the University of Alaska, New Series, Vol. 5. Fairbanks, University of Alaska Fairbanks, Department of Anthropology. Vida, Edward J., 2010b. Yenisean, Nadine, and Historical Linguistics. The Dean Yenisean Connection, ed. by J. Carey and B. Potter, 100-118. Anthropological Papers of the University of Alaska, New Series, Vol. 5. Fairbanks, University of Alaska Fairbanks, Department of Anthropology. Vida, Edward J., 2011. Oxford Bibliographies Online, Dean Yenisean Languages. Vida, Edward J., 2013a. Vestigial Possessive Morphology in Na Dean and Yenisean, Working Papers in Athabascan, Dean, Languages 2012. Alaska Native Language Center Working Papers, No. 11, eds. Sharon Hargis, Edward Vida, Daniel Heber. Fairbanks, Alaska, ANLC, 2013. pp. 79-91, Link to Vida 2013 Vida, Edward J., 2013b, Metathesis and Reanalysis in Ket, Modern and Classical Languages, Paper 66, 1, Reviews, Related Work, etc. Campbell, Lyle, 2011, Review of the Dean Yenisean Connection, ed. by James Carey and Ben A. Potter. International Journal of American Linguistics 77.3, 445-451. Diamond, Jared, 2011. Linguistics, Deep Relationships Between Languages, Nature. 476, 7360, 291 to 292. Dunn, Michael, 2012. Review of the Dean Yenisean Connection, Carey and Potter, eds. Language Vol. 88, 2, June.
Fligintiv Pavel, Pia Changme, Anastasia Zidkova, Maria D. Logacheva, Nezgi Altinasik, Olga Fligintiva, Mikhail S. Gelfand, Yevgeny S. Gerasimov, Ekaterina E. Kremiva, Olga P. Konovalova, Tatiana Naratina, Yuri V. Nikolsky, George Starostin, Vita V. Stepanova, Igor V. Travinsky, Martin Triska, Petr Triska, and Tatiana V. Tatarinova. 2016. Genomic study of the Ket, a Paleo-Eskimo-related ethnic group with significant ancient North Eurasian ancestry. Scientific Report 6, 20768 doi, 10.1038, SREP 20768. Fortescue, Michael. 1998. Language Relations Across Bering Strait, Reappraising the Archaeological and Linguistic Evidence. London and New York, Castle. Carey, James and Ben A. Potter, 2010. The Dean Yenisean Connection, Bridging Asia and North America. The Dean Yenisean Connection, ed. by J. Carey and B. Potter, 1-24. Anthropological Papers of the University of Alaska, New Series, Vol. 5. Fairbanks, University of Alaska Fairbanks, Department of Anthropology. Kaparsky, Paul. 2015. New Perspectives in Historical Linguistics. The Routledge Handbook of Historical Linguistics. Ed. by C. Bowern and B. Evans, pp. 64-102, London and New York, Routledge. Rice, Karen. 2011. Review of the Dean Yenisean Connection, ed. by James Carey and Ben A. Potter. Diachronica 28-2, 255-271. Rubitz, R. Melvin, K. L. Crawford, M. H. 2002. Genetic Evidence for the Phylogenetic Relationship Between Na Dean and Yenisean Speakers. Human Biology, 43, 6, 743 60. Rulin, Merritt. 1998. The Origin of the Na Dean. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, 95-23-13994-6. Sicoli, Mark A. and Holton, Gary, 2014. Linguistic Phylogenies Support Back Migration from Beringia to Asia. PLOS 1-9-3-E91722. Bida, Edward J., 2011. A Response to Campbell. International Journal of American Linguistics 77.3, 451-452. Wilson, Joseph A. P. 2018. Postscript to the Union of Two Worlds, an Expository Note. Folklore 129, 1, 78-90. Wilson, Joseph A. P. 2016. The Union of Two Worlds, Reconstructing Elements of Proto-Athabascan Folklore and Religion. Folklore 127, 1, 26-50. Wilson, Joseph A. P. 2008. A New Perspective on Later Migrations, the Possible Recent Origin of Some Native American Haplotypes. Critique of Anthropology 28, 3, 267-78. External links Ordering information and news items for the Dean Yenisean Connection. The 2011 second printing has Coriagenda for 14 articles in the 2010 East printing. March 24, 2012 Dean Yenisean Workshop, University of Alaska Fairbanks, sponsored by ANLC, lecture by Ed Vida and other papers now available via ANLC and YouTube. New Language Research Supports Land Bridge Evidence. Anchorage Daily News Dene Yenisean Swadesh Lists incomplete. Linguistic Phylogenies Support Back Migration from Beringia to Asia, presents evidence that the ancestors of the Yenisean-speaking people went west from the Bering Land Bridge, whereas the ancestors of Na Dene went east. Linguists Big Data Research Supports Waves of Migration into the Americas. Phys.org Follow-up study to the link above.